Uh, Warsaw school leaders will ask voters in May to approve a $39 million plan to build a new Lincoln Elementary School as well as renovate Edgewood Middle School and Washington Elementary School. It comes with a hefty price tag, but school leaders say it's needed, especially for kids that attend one of the oldest elementary schools in the city. If this 1950s era playground equipment is any indication, this school, Lincoln Elementary in Warsaw, is outdated. And this whole school is really past the, the fiscal point of no return. Superintendent David Hoffert walked us through the changes he says are needed. This community is, is very proud of this school. Uh, the teachers are very proud of this school. This has been a Title I distinguished school. Uh, so the academics that have been going on inside the school uh, have been amazing. Um, but now we've gotten to the point where the facilities don't, uh, do not support the, the children and the academics. The last major update on this building was in 1977. And over the years, time has taken its toll. Hoffert says, among other things, the old classrooms are too small for today's teaching and academic standards. Some bathrooms don't work. The HVAC system is past its life expectancy and there are major security concerns. The biggest one is again the, the kids to be able to come out here, come outside this door and every hour we have kids that are going back and forth to these different mobile home classroom trailers that are out here. But Hoffert says it would cost more to renovate than it would to build. So under the plan the district will construct a new school on this property. If I remember right from the map, that's where the new school yes, is. Yes, actually, absolutely. What we would do is we'd put it just on that other corner that's right over here. Then the old school will be torn down. And if voters approve, two other schools will see major renovations. In my opinion, this is really needs, uh, not wants. Hoffert says over the next few months, he'll spend a lot of time trying to convince voters to approve the plan. Right now, what we're really asking our community to do is, is look at the needs. Now, if approved, if you own a $100,000 home, it will cost about $45 a year or $3.77 a month. So far, there has been little to no pushback, but campaigning really has yet to actually start. Voters will decide, of course, on May 5th. At the Live Desk, Kristen Bean, WSBT 22 News. Kristen, thanks. 639 and Air Force One will be landing in the Hoosier State this morning. The president is holding a town hall meeting.